Grip6, a popular belt and sock maker, has been fiddling with wallets for a long time. And we have their latest on the table, so let's get into it. Belts, ties, phones, rings, wallets. Grip6 has come out with another version. This is version two of their wallet. Let's open this up. Ah, here it is. I wanted to get this in a nice orange color. And I also ordered what's called the Wingman right here. Let's get this box out of the way and take a look at these two. This is kind of a mustard yellow orangey. Anyway, I'm a bit colorblind, but not to these colors. Also comes a black gunmetal, deep blue, and also a, a forged carbon fiber. I did not get the one with the loop. If you'd like to play with that, you can. And the wingman here is attached via adhesive. Attaches to the exterior and provides additional card carrying capacity with a little pull strap to get the cards out. We'll show you how this works. Otherwise, there is some significance between the original and this version two. Didn't we already review this wallet? Well, yes, but that was version one. We have version two today. All right, well, let's get this wingman attached first. So very easily done. We just take these little pieces off to expose the adhesive. And the way I function is I will use my left hand. So I'm going to put this right here. And we will get this on. Let's see. Get that nice and straight as I can. There we go. <clears throat> put that in place. And now I've got this extended card support right here. And we'll show what that looks like here. We'll also see that during the card and cash insertion test, but you can see how that functions, what that looks like. Well, what do we have? Since this is a, a grip trigger uh, for pushing cards, you can decide which hand to use, left or right, or which orientation you'd like. Now, once decided, you can place this wingman on like I did here. I'm going to place the wingman, like I said, opposite of how I usually pull cards from, which is I use my left hand, I pull and utilize with my right hand. Now, if we look at the features of this particular wallet, we have the major card capacity here in the box. Six to seven cards, depending if they're embossed or not, and a side grip press extractor. So we'll see how that functions right here. You can see that right there. And the sidecar. The sidecar, of course, provides additional cards, cash folded twice that you can also put in here, and this pull strap to extract cards and put them back in. Again, there's limitations to what you can do with this uh, box, and so having this as a sidecar option, an additional attachment is really a good idea. As mentioned, it also comes with a loop. If you want to have a loop here, loop up here, something to play with. Uh, not something I really prefer to have that loop. I think it just adds more bulk, but it's something you like to fiddle with, then I think that's great. And the wallet, of course, is RFID protected due to the aluminum, but you won't have that on this wingman. But don't worry, I don't think it's a big deal. The wallet measures 4.1 by 2.8 by 0.4, and it weighs 60 grams or 2.2 ounces. No leather smell. Well, let's keep going. Total of nine cards. Company recommends up to six cards in the box, an additional eight you could get in the wingman. I mean, that's quite a bit to put in there. And I put three slips of cash, just folded twice or in thirds, whichever you prefer. Designed and made in the United States, this wallet is a CNC machine from 5052 H32 aluminum. I don't know the specifics, it's aluminum. And it's bent at 180 degrees. You can see how this is bent and the whole plastic component is an insert from the side. Very much different than what we see with uh, other wallets like Secret, which is a completely encapsulated extruded aluminum box. Now when cards are enclosed in here, it uh, this little trigger goes over the top of the edge. You can see right here, and that's what keeps it from right here keeps it from falling out. When you press the trigger, it releases it, and that's what keeps cards in and from falling out from any other use. I like that. I've seen this more and more with box-type wallets, and I think it's a great idea to keep cards from falling out. Now, the colors come from a satin anodized finish applied and is both internally as well as externally applied. It's not just on the exterior. It's through the whole uh, metal itself. And the optional wingman accessory is built using a high tensile nylon fabric yarn with a logo patch made for either synthetic leather or cork. Uh, this this whole thing really is a vegan wallet if you would like, if you're in, if that's important to you. Now it's fifty nine dollars without the band and fourteen additional dollars for the wingman accessory. So how does this compare to the Grip Six version one? Well, that's in another video you can see in the link after we're done. The one thing a box wallet needs to do well is push cards in such a way that they're presented so that you can pull one when you want it and know where it's coming from. 
Now, one of the things that, uh, that affected, well, we'll get to that in a second. First, let me show you what I mean. Right here, I have an extra wallet. I will put these cards in. We're very familiar, we've seen this plenty before, and so when you do an extraction, you can see how the cards are presented. They're fanned so you can get the card you want, push them back in. So again, I'll show you what this looks like. Very much a presentation methodology that comes from the lifter mechanism down here. Now, let me show you what happens when we get to the GRIP-6. It goes well, like this, and we can see that uh, the, the presentation is just kind of all over the place. You're going, well, Mark, you're doing it the wrong way. Fine, let me put the cards in this way, and I'll show you what happens here too. Come here, and all of a sudden, yeah, it doesn't really matter much. That, that's uh, not the best presentation you'd get when compared to leaders in the market. Now, two things that we, as we look into the internals. The first is there is no friction tabs on either side to slow the exiting of the cards. And the second is the fanning mechanism of the arm, which pushes the cards. Both Secret and Exter, like I showed you with the Exter, have several teeth that fan the cards out, whereas the Grip 6 has fewer resulting in what we saw. What this means is we start to see without, you know, with a fanning, we saw that, but without the friction pads on both sides, we still see this. And there we go. Yeah, we're not getting away from that. That's the same problem that existed with the uh, version one. We still have it with version two. And until there are some mechanisms like, oh, I know friction strips on the, on the interior on both sides that line them. So when you're pressing, it actually reduces the speed. We're still gonna have this shotgun effect of cards, unfortunately. That said, there is a GRIP-6 Garon Dam T, which means they'll replace or refund the wallet at any time for any reason for any condition. You can't get a better customer service experience or profile than that. Now, the prototype for this wallet was created over eight years ago and has gone through many iterations. Manufacturer is an engineer and he loves to tinker with things and that's why he makes great things like belts, even socks and other products coming out with. But he all started with a design on a wallet that he had in mind. Along with that, GRIP-6 manufactures everything themselves here in the United States. Their commitment to building their own machines even to enable manufacturing here in the U.S. is admirable, but also demonstrates how much manufacturing has left the U.S. to overseas vendors. It's something we can improve upon, really, as a country. While an improvement on the material construction and options of the GRIP-6 V1 wallet, how does it compare? Well, like I said, wait until the end. Now on to the final score. For quality of four, price of three, Features a two, not fanning cards properly, is below the baseline and has been since their first version. Usability of three, perception of five, great company uh, that stands behind everything they make without any compromise or excuse. And that gives us a score of 3.5 out of five. As mentioned, watch the comparison of the GRIP-6 version one to the newly released version two here. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.